Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2013 is powered by Western Digital. Our trusted gaming gear partner is Corsair Vengeance, and our trusted retail partner is NCIX.com. Hey guys, we're here at GamDS, and I know what you're probably thinking is slick. Another keyboard video? Seriously? No, 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 guys. Okay, first we're going to do the mouse, then we'll do the keyboard. Of course, I had to get to that. Then we're going to do the headset, then we're going to do this interesting thing right here. So first we're going to go over the mouse, like I just said. At first, it looks nuts. There's tons of stuff all over the place. There's 11 macro keys, do 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 all over the place. It's all programmable. They have a nice software for all of their things tied into one. Let's actually jump up to that real quick. So this is their software. Right now, I just have the mouse and keyboard plugged in. So at the bottom, you can see mouse and keyboard are available. So one piece of software, all your peripherals, as long as they're all from GamDS. All right, we're going to jump back down and not spend too much time on software as it's still mostly in beta. If I flip the mouse over, You'll find three uh, scroll wheelie type things right here. As you can see, they're connected directly, if I can spin this out, to the plastic panel that is closest to them. So this one controls this panel, this one controls this panel, and this one controls this panel, making it a very adjustable mouse. Uh, apparently, there's also going to be options for other plates to go on this as well. And on this side, they noted that some people with smaller hands had problems getting their pinkies caught in here. So on the actual production model that will be released, they're gonna have a plug that can go there temporarily and they can remove it later on if they don't want it. Personally, I would leave it out because I think it looks great without it and my pinky is not gonna be caught there. I currently have the mouse set up in a configuration for my hand, so I usually claw grip mice and this mouse isn't big enough for me to palm grip anyways, but I never palm grip anything, so it's not really that big of a deal. So it fits me perfectly right now, which is actually kind of nice. Every finger goes into its exact spot that I would want it to go to. My pinky doesn't drag along the mat. My thumb doesn't drag along the mat. Everything is working fine. It's a fine looking mouse. We're going to move on to the keyboard. Now, again, slick, another keyboard review. This one does actually have some interesting things. First off, I noticed this little camera button and that intrigued me. It's a recording button or a streaming button or a network streaming button or whatever you want it on release. It's not ready yet. But I have been told what you can do is you can live stream with it or you can local record with it or you can stream to another computer in the house. So if you have someone with a home theater computer set up to the TV, you can stream to that. Your dad or your family or your mom or whoever wants to watch you play whatever game you're playing can watch there. I don't know if you have anyone that wants to just sit and watch you play games, but that is a cool option. Uh, now moving forward, if I pull this key off, they'll probably not be too happy that I didn't use a key puller, but I don't know, whatever. So... <laughs> Sorry, GamDS. Um, it looks like cherry blue switches. It looks fairly standard, but then there's this little square around the switch. That is a way of dampening the press so it doesn't actually bottom out, which makes it quite a bit quieter. As you, If I'm going to put the mic there. I don't know how attuned you are with cherry blues, but they're really, really loud. You can hear the click, and then you can hear it slam against the bottom of the keyboard if you press all the way down, like I do. I always press all the way down. It's a bad habit, but it is a habit. So that dampens it and also makes less total travel time and makes it spring up faster. They're claim claiming that is a type of hybrid switch and it'll feel more like a red than it does like a blue. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. I like the blues and I like dampeners, but I'm not sure how much a red user would be able to actually relate the two. That's up to you. I would recommend trying it out yourself as I do with all mechanical keyboards. Up at the top here, they've got a USB hub, one of them with uh, mic and audio headers not headers, plugs, sorry about that, talked a lot today. Jumping down to the bottom, they have a wrist rest. It's a massive wrist rest. Any 7G users will, that like their huge wrist rest will like this. One thing to notice is it's magnetic, clips in very nicely, and if you take it off, spin it around, and put it on top of your keyboard, it actually works as a dust cover. This is kind of interesting. I do carry dust covers with my keyboards just to keep them nice and pristine. And if you're in a place that is very dusty, this could help you out. It's just interesting added functionality that GamDS has done. You'll notice that their logo actually says Zeus on it. That is just actually their logo. They are GamDS as it says on the wrist rest. Moving past the keyboard, we get to Hephaestus. This thing is huge and crazy and has heat sinks and vibration motors and everything. So basically, I'm gonna jump into the heat sinks. They're saying gamers ears get hot. That sounds pretty accurate to me. So they have heat sinks in here to try and keep the overall temperature of the, um, of the cans cold. Sorry for using terminology cans there. That's what some people call uh, ear cups on headphones. Huge, huge soft cups. They feel quite nice up here. There's a little bit, not quite as much as down here, but this is the more important part in my opinion. If, say, you're in a game, someone throws a grenade and it blows up behind you, depending on what side they're on, one of the earmuffs will vibrate. 
and I believe if it's central, they'll both vibrate. Yeah, so if it's central, they will both vibrate. If it's on one side, one will vibrate. It's just a little bit of added functionality there. They like calling it a f added fourth dim element, so that's kind of interesting, or fourth dimension. The boom mic is very adjustable, so if you somehow have a mouth that's over here when the rest of your face is over there, you can do that, or you can very easily have it wherever you want it. It seems to be able to be pretty stiff wherever you want it, so that is pretty cool. These things, I tested them out. The bass is pretty insane. It can pound like pretty much no other. Of course there is others, but pretty much no other. Bass is awesome. I noticed a little bit of siblets on some highs, but those weren't that bad. And that brings us to this guy. This guy's quite interesting. It adheres to your monitor through 3M stickers, and it's actually not that bad. Apparently, if you take it off, it doesn't leave, um, it won't pull any of the paint off your monitor, although it may leave some residue. Basically what this is, is it's cable management for one cable. I highly suggest your mouse as they have it set up here. And then on the back, if I can rotate this monitor, uh, I'm getting some people trying to help me here. We'll try and get this done. I'm gonna unplug the monitor actually. There we go. There we go. Nope, this side, this side, this side, this side. There you go. USB 2.0 hub on the back. That is actually pretty cool. And then this, you've probably been wondering what that was doing there. I had the headphones hooked up there, and that's actually what makes sense. A lot of people don't have headphone holders. Personally, I have Sennheisers that came with a headphone holder, and I love it. If you don't have a headphone holder, this is not a bad idea. Thank you for checking out our Gam DS booth. They have tons of other options, so check that out. And if you want to see all the rest of our CompuTex content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.